Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So today I am bringing you guys my TBR for the contemporary thon and this is going to be round five. So this uh, readathon is just all about reading basically as many contemporaries, I guess, that you can. So this is going to be round five of the contemporary thon. I think I participated in round four or round three. I can't remember, but I participated in one of them, so I decided to participate in this one, and I think I have some really, really good picks um, for the challenges for this time around. So the dates for Contemporary Thon Round 5 are going to be September 23rd through September 29th, so you have a week to get through the challenges. Um, this is hosted by four different hosts, so it is Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads, and Julie from Pages and Pens, um, Natalie from My Reading is Odd, and Melanie from Mel to the Any. You guys know all of them they're very amazing great booktubers and all that so I'm super excited about this round of contemporary thon I honestly think I have some great choices so there are seven challenges and of course you can double up on these challenges you don't have to necessarily read seven books for or a different book for each challenge so you don't have to read seven books um, I myself have four books that I want to show you guys um, so let's go ahead and get through the challenges and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna read Okay, so the first challenge is to read a 2019 release, and for that, I'm going to be reading uh, Red, White, and Red, White, and Royal Blue, and this is by Casey McQuiston. This is her debut uh, novel. This has been so popular on BookTube this year. Everyone is raving about this. So this is about the son of the Queen of England, right? Yeah, the Queen of England and the son of the first woman president of the United States. Um, they basically, kind of sounds like it's like a hate to love kind of thing. They don't really like each other and then they're forced to be friends. And then I think uh, love blossoms from there, romance blossoms from there. Um, but I've heard amazing things about this book. I heard it is amazing and great and the representation that is in this book is great. So I cannot wait to read this one. Okay, the second challenge is to read a book with yellow on the cover. This one that I picked could also go for challenge number one, which is a 2019 release, and that is going to be Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. So the yellow on here, there is a yellow ladder, and then the letters down here are in yellow. And this is another one that was released in 2019 that everybody is raving about. This is like a smutty kind of romance, and I think Tessa and the guy, I don't even know his name. But they like knew each other growing up and then see each other years later in uh, Romance Blossoms, I think. I probably described that terribly, um, but I've heard amazing things about this. I have heard a few people say that there's some questionable things in it, like some, some things that the guy does is a little weird. But overall, I've heard people love it, so I'm hoping I will love it. We'll see. I don't know. But yes, I'm excited about getting to this one. Okay, challenge number three is to read a diverse contemporary, and for that I chose Intercepted by Alexa Martin. So this is, uh, I think this is her debut novel, and this is about a girl who falls in love with an NFL player, and it's basically about, you know, their romance and all that stuff. And then I found out Alexa Martin is actually the wife of an ex-NFL star. So this is basically like her life and what she went through dating you know, an NFL player, and again, this is a diverse read, so I'm very excited about it, and you know, it's the fall time, and it's football season, and it's just, it's just perfect for the season, so I cannot wait to get to this book. Okay, the fourth challenge is to read a contemporary with an illustrated cover, and honestly, I, I could choose this one, I could choose this one, I could choose this one. They, they all work for it, so I think I have this challenge covered. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, challenge number five is to read a dark or a hard-hitting contemporary, and for that I have chosen Solace Island. This is by Meg Tilly. So this is about a girl who um, is almost ran over by a car, and she's um, saved by her mysterious neighbor, and they think someone's out to get her, and basically her neighbor takes in her and her sister trying to protect them, and he has some secrets to him. They don't know I don't know. It says it's a contemporary romance. I feel like there might be some magical elements to this. I could be wrong. I don't know. But he's a mysterious guy and he lets them live with them. So I don't know. I was intrigued. I ha I can't remember who, but someone on BookTube recommended this and I picked it up off of Book Outlet and I feel like it would be perfect for this readathon. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, and number six is to read a contemporary with plants on it. And with that, I'm gonna double up again and I'm gonna go with Solace Island and there's like some like plants and stuff down here. It looks like she's like walking on a beach or something. I don't know, but it has plants on it, so I'm going with it. Okay, and number seven is to read a contemporary that is beloved by a member of the book community. And it can be honestly anything. I feel like these two books right here are beloved by everyone in the book community for the most part. So I think these two will cover that challenge. And yeah, I hope I love them just like everybody else does. I know for sure at least two of the um, hosts for this readathon, Mel to the Innie, Melanie from Mel to the Innie, and Chelsea from Chelsea Dollar Reads, I know they both love this book. So I'm hoping I will love it too. So I think I got that challenge covered. Okay guys, so this is my TBR for the Contemporary Thon round five. I'm so excited about these. I cannot wait to read these. Again, I've heard amazing things about all of these books and I'm hoping that I will love them just like everybody else does. And I can't wait to get to reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are participating in Contemporary Thon, let me know down below. If you guys make a TBR video, link it down below. I'd love to watch it and see what you guys are reading. And yeah, I'm happy reading you guys. I'm so excited. I love readathons. They kind of stress me out, but at the same time, I enjoy them. And I really think I'm going to like this one because I think I have a really good TBR pick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.